here at Greatest Kids, we are all about helping kids become like Jesus by loving God and serving others. And today, we are gonna be talking about when we're loved by God, when you're loved by God, you don't have to be liked by everyone. Isn't that incredible? So let's get to it. Hi friends, welcome back. We have Famous Amos and, oh no, Famous Amos, what is wrong? You wouldn't believe it. Did, did, what happened? Tell us. I lost three subscribers. Like, <coughs> like they're no longer living? Like, what do you mean you lost three subscribers? No, they're just like not on my channel anymore. So they're not following you, you anymore? <coughs> I, no, they're not. All of this because you lost three subscribers. Yeah. Oh, well, as Christians, we know the truth that when you're loved by God, you don't need to be liked by everyone else. Really? Really. God's love is enough. It, in fact, it's more than enough that you don't have to worry about three subscribers. I mean, and, and after all, you have like two point something billion subscribers. I mean, I guess now that you put it that way, it makes a little bit more sense, but like it was still heartbreaking. Is it a little less heartbreaking knowing that God loves you? Yeah. That's true. Okay, it'll it'll take some time to sink in. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be okay. <laughs> well, famous Amos, we are. I'm sure you're gonna have more subscribers from this whole month that we've been hanging out with you, and we hope to follow you in the future, current years. Hey, next up, fighting an iguana. Whoa. Hey, Grace Kids, it is week five of our lesson. We're so excited to do our memory verse <laughs> one last time with week number Who's five. Week number five. Four. It's week number four. Four. There's only four Sundays in February. Oh, you're four. right, because this is a shorter month. It is. It's true. And I should know that. Why should you know that? Because it's my birthday month. Oh, happy birthday! Well, I already had it. Oh, okay. Ha happy I, belated birthday! Or happy early birthday 2024. Yeah. Yeah. That too. So what I did, because I knew this was going to be our last week, even though I said week five, but we know it's week four, yeah. is I took our memory verse and I made the words bigger and smaller based off of how loud we're going to say them. Oh. And so because there's the large, large, loud words, I'm going to say those because I'm loud. And you get to read the soft, smaller words, which are... Um, hey, hey, Pastor Scott. What? I know that I can be really loud, too. Can I, can I do the loud ones this time? I don't please, think you can. Please, That's please, ask the kids. Please. What? Wow, that was loud. Thank you. Okay, you can do loud. Yay! You better be good, because I can do it. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. So! Whether. You. Eat. Or. Drink. Or. Whatever. You. Do. Do. It. All. For. The. Glory. Of. God. First Corinthians 10, 31. That was awesome. Thanks. Wow, we did it so good. I don't think we need to do it a second time. No, I think they got it. They're I think they got it. I, I bet you at home or in the car, wherever that right now, they could actually be doing this. Like if they're in the car, like brother and sister in the back seat, they could practice right now and dad would be like, Take oh, that's their turn. Exactly. They can do it. You can do it. All right. See you next month. Today, our Bible story is found in the Old Testament, in the book of 1 Kings, chapter 10, verses 1 through 9. There, we find that King Solomon is going to be visited by the Queen of Sheba. She had heard all about Solomon, and she came with a list to put him to the test to see if everything that she heard was actually true. Queen Sheba came with a caravan of camels. These camels were carrying all different things, including every kind of spice you could imagine. The camels were filled to the top with lots and lots of gold and several different precious stones. All of these were a gift to King Solomon on behalf of Queen Sheba and her country. She also came, though, with a lot of questions. She came with the hardest questions that she could possibly think of to try to trick King Solomon. But he had an answer for every single question that she asked him. Every single one. Now Queen Sheba realized that King Solomon was so wise that he was the wisest person that she had ever met. She even toured the palace and saw that it was so beautiful. 
and she saw the food on his table, how wonderful and fulfilling that was. She even saw all of the people that worked in King Solomon's palace, how they were dutiful, how they were happy, how they were doing everything they could to support him. All of this knowledge, everything that she saw and experienced was so overwhelming to Queen Sheba. She had heard all of the reports of Solomon, all of the things that were happening in his kingdom, but she wasn't going to believe it until she saw it with her own eyes. At the end of her visit, she even acknowledged that all of the people in King Solomon's kingdom were so, must have been so happy to have him as their king. She even went on to praise God for giving Solomon all of the resources he had and all of the wisdom that he had too. See, Queen Sheba, she went from doubting Solomon all the way to praising God. Hey guys, well, I wonder if you can guess what this is. It goes like this, some may say action with it. Any guesses? Well, if you don't know, it's okay. I'm here to tell you this is called a clapper board. And a clapper board is what filmmakers use to help them synchronize the sound with the actual film, the moving picture, right? So we're talking about famous, right? That's our theme for this month. And usually when we think of famous, we think of like famous people or maybe like famous things that's come out like the PS5 or I don't know, like iPhone 14, a lot of famous things, right? But I want to encourage you and even challenge you to make God the most famous person in your life and the number one person in your life. Okay, kids, you think you can do that? I think you can do that. Hey guys, you know what time it is, the end of our lesson. Caitlin, Caitlin uh, what's wrong? Well, there's this new girl at school. Okay. And she seemed really, really cool. So I wanted to okay. like, become friends with her. Yeah. But I don't think she liked me. What? Like at all. Oh no. And I don't think she wants to be my friend. Well, and it like, it's kind of hurtful. Yeah, I, that can be very hard, Miss mm -hmm. Ashley, but guess what our big idea says? What? Our big idea says, when you're loved by God, you don't need to be liked by everyone. That's right, that is our big idea. That, that makes is... you feel better. Okay, good, good. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure you can make a lot more friends at school. I, I think so. Yeah. yeah, let's pray about that. Okay. Laura, I just pray that you would um, continue to remind us that when we're loved by you, that, um, we don't have to rely on the love of others, God. Help us to remember um, just your love, your kindness, and your faithfulness, Lord. Help us to just remember that um, your love is sustainable and it's um, unconditional. And I just pray that we we'll just won't be people pleasers, that we'll be God pleasers. In Jesus' name, I pray. 